Wait a second, he has not been shot. He was stabbed to death. What is going on? Is it morning already? Oh, where am I? Saint Clair, did the assassin come while I was asleep? Ah, tragedy. I'll go investigate. You must go and find Fred Larson and see if he's okay. Sinclair, meet me by the train station at once. I must speak to you. I have not been completely open with you, Sinclair. I must explain to you how I know of Robert Darzac's innocence. You see, the night before the attack at the Yellow Room, there was a convention of scientists in France. I attended, by duty of the epoch, to write the story. Then I happened upon a very dismal couple in the bushes. It was Mathilde and Darzac. They were reading a letter from an anonymous source that said, The presbytery has lost nothing of its charm, nor the garden its brightness. Well, as I sat behind them, I heard Darzac whisper dismally to Mathilde, Shall I commit a crime for you, my dear? The letter was a coded threat. Someone from the secrets of Mathilde's past. And Robert Darzac was willing to take the fall if it would set her free from this threat. I must travel to America. Something tells me that this presbytery is there somewhere. I'll be back in three weeks' time. Take pictures of anything peculiar you find.
man I ever truly loved. <sighs> he was onto something, you know. He gave me this note yesterday, telling me that I must give it to the proper person. You should have it. Tom, my poor Mr. Green. <laughs> Oh my, you aren't scared of the beastie, are you? You should go investigate the beastie and the gypsy across the lake. I see you have an oar. Just use it to get across the lake on the boat.
Ah, Sinclair, I would not go any further. My men and I have already thoroughly inspected this area. Whatever you do, do not go across the lake, eh? Huh?